Saved a little trouble. Sure. All right. And now, this one I don't understand because we moved into October and there's um, not much going on. Uh, but they're calling you the fabulous surfers. The whole world. Now, fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Yeah, it's a Stan Adams who yeah. uh, I think was born at Pomona um, yeah. and worked there as a. As a he know, still shows up. Oh, well, yeah, he yeah. managed it for years, but he started out, he swept the parking lot or something there. So you're the Santa Monica whiz kids. Huh. Uh, and he's talking about you're, you're going to apparently have an upcoming uh, match with the snake. Um, because I think you had two two out of threes with them over time, but I think they came later. So and I don't understand this. this is, the surfers were also without female companionship this week. Somebody broke up with their girlfriend. Oh, uh -oh. oh no. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah, it's, um, it's apparently you raced Gary Gablich in the Smizer's car uh, oh. at Fontana. And we were just talking about length in your car. Well, the Smizer was a brand new car of 194 inches. So he's about 40 inches longer than you are, 35 <laughs> inches longer than you. And that's still when they did the turnaround. They push started down and then the tur turned around and Mike made the turn and pulled up to the starting line Smizer's car was too long guys had to jump out and back it up and back it up to make the turn in the meantime Mike's heating the clutch and it got too hot and he red lighted and left and got beat and now um, big race of Fontana two day race Mickey Thompson's annual 200 mile an hour championships Mickey held a race and he invited cars that had run 200 miles an hour because it was at that point where it was still new. Uh, they had started running in 64, but nobody ran 200 regularly. And into 65, it was still sporadic. It was still sporadic. So Mickey um, invited guys, but there would be 60 cars. Um, so it was a two-day race, and Ed Pink, probably with a fixed station wagon, won <laughs> on Saturday, a two-day race, and the surfers won on Sunday. Now, it wasn't like Bakersfield where the winner on Saturday raced the winner on Sunday. It was just a two-day, two, two separate. separate meets. Uh, there's a film. Uh, it's called A Gathering of Monsters. Uh, it's all about that meet. It's available online. Um, I'm sure Bill will put in some cuts from it. between Jack Buell and Reef Automotive. Buell wins with a 7.9 ET, 200.44 miles an hour against 200 flat. Mike Sorokin, driver for one of the greatest racing teams, the Surfers, is anxious to win.
does it with an ET of 7.85, making it a cold day for winter. Paul Sutherland from Long Beach, California, comes up against Bobby Langley, three-time state champion of Texas. And Paul wins with a 7.88 ET. The state of Arizona, represented by Turk Cox, takes on a hard-running Texan, Sam Reitzel. It's close, but Turk Cox wins. Kenny and Gaius, the famous champion from Honolulu, Hawaii, competes with Wilfred Barlag and leads all the way. Connie Swingle of Tampa, Florida, in Ed Pink's old bastard, challenges Paul Sutherland. Sutherland Swindle Swingle with a dazzling 7.65. With half the day gone, the contest is now down to 18 cars competing for top eliminator. The unsung heroes of the day, the pit crews and donors, work frantically to keep their cars super tuned and glued together during the short 35 minutes between races. Next up, Ron Hampshire with Turner Sid Waterman turning the wrenches. Bev Steakhouse of the Golden West provides the competition, but the red light will get you, and it sizzles the steakhouse. Famous Jim Davis of Walnut Creek tackles horsepower engineering. But losers. There are hundreds of hours that go into car preparation and lots of expense to make a run lasting just a few seconds. Providing you have no engine failures, it costs about $250 a day to maintain a top dragster. It's a tough way to make a living. While some dragsters gross over 100,000 a year, others are happy to race just for the pure sport. Don Garlitz takes on Levitt Miller and a smasher. Garlitz wins with a good honest effort at 202.70 miles per hour. Jack Ewell, the silver box against Pro Prometer Rue of Seattle. The red light claims another victim, and it's the silver box who trips the clocks. A beautiful car, the Bing and M Torque Master comes up. The driver, Kenny Stafford, matched against Kenny and Guy. And then Gaius loses. Horsepower engineering again with a real good run. A 7.80 ET and 205 miles per hour. The 200 mile per hour club strikes again. Paul Sutherland polishes off Dirk Cox in 7.87 elapsed time. The server with another 7.87. White Bob Sabarbro off the slate. Paul Sutherland again in a run against Babbler Clark, the traveling twin. And Sutherland wins with a 7.74 ET. Jack Newell versus Big Daddy Garland. 
And Garlitz knows what you get if you don't watch out. The red light. Next to the last round is drawn. It won't be long now. A single evens up the field. The surfers win an easy one from another red lighter. The B&M Torque Masters overshadow storming Red Lang, the thin man from New York in a 7.79 runoff. Paul Sutherland again in the fabulous Percent machine runs a consistent 7.87 at over 200 miles per hour to close out the round. Sutherland in round four takes the measure of Jack Buell with a 7.90, but Buell never left the line. Sorry about that. Torquemaster and the surfers next. The surfers win. Sutherland singles to even things up. Estes runs a single, but just for fun. Then, in the final top elimination, it's the Surfers versus Brissett Sutherland. and the top dog is Mike Sorokin in the surfer's machine. This gathering of monsters is ended. But wherever you go, beware of the MT Equipped. <music> Nicky Thompson Enterprises expresses appreciation to the following 200 mile per hour club members. atmosphere the whole thing because it started with a, a dinner the night before a dinner dance and dance yeah, yeah there's a picture of Ronnie Rapp dancing a video of him dancing I just love Ronnie Rapp dancing um, but yeah um, so it's all things you guys want on Sunday um, so um, big me $2,500 to the winner a uh, good payday and money too it wasn't a check no, no, there's, in the video, Mickey's giving you guys $100 bills. Give them to Mike. They're I don't actually, know if he's... If you look closely, they're actually $1 bills. They're $1 bills. <laughs> yeah. I'll zoom in on that. We'll get it. Yeah. So we'll get I don't it. know, uh, maybe you got all your creditors paid at that time, right? Mm -hmm.